Hello and welcome. So I think this is going to be one of the few updates that have actually interested me in a while. That's because this update has the potential to be good, but it kind of depends on how it's executed and if it's balanced or not. So what the update is, it's going to be filling in the gaps for certain patches, which are, oh, I'm talking about farming, by the way, like certain farming patches that pretty much just stop at like level 50-ish and there's nothing past that level. So they're just going to add more higher level items for that and it could be used for various things. So there's going to be like 10 new seeds and you can get these seeds by, there's a few ways. There's like pickpocketing, like level 70 thieving for pickpocketing a paladin. Then there's like mobilizing army as well as minesweeper. Oh, I'm sorry, I mean Vine Sweeper. I think that's what it's called. So these are just higher level seeds to, you know, just add to like allotments. There's cacti, bushes, flowers, hops, crops, that kind of stuff. Pretty much anything besides trees. Four of those seeds will be used to produce herb lore or summoning supplies. So for example, you could see here that for sure we're going to have a snake grass seed and it's probably going to look like this and be used in a allotment. Although for the other possible choices, I looked through a lot of them and none of them really makes sense. Like I looked at so many, I can't see anything that makes sense that you can farm, but I guess I'll be proven wrong when they eventually make it. Unless they're making a new patch, but that's kind of unlikely. So like I said, there's going to be 10 new seeds. Four was going to be related to like making secondaries or whatever for herb lore and summoning supplies. Another four will be used to give skill boost of some sort. So, so far that was 8 of the 10 new seeds, so the last two, one of them is going to be the god seeds, which will make the god grapes, and from the wording of it, it sounds like there's only one god seed, which will produce the Sarah, Zami, and Guthix grapes. So, it seems like it's more of a universal seed, and looking at the grapevine, you can actually see there's a red, white, and blue grape. So, I guess red for Zami, white for Guthix, and blue for Sarah. And as well, grapes, grapes mix wine. And Zamorak wine already exists, but it's introducing the Saradomen wine and the Guthix wine. And if you look at the video, there's even a super Zamorak wine. So maybe there's a super Saradomen wine. And as for the effect, I don't really know. One thing they did not mention was the 10th seed, and I'm actually glad that they didn't tell us because if they explain everything now, like what's the point of actually going to the update? So I do have an idea of what the 10th seed may be. I'm thinking it's kind of this one as this wasn't really identified as anything else and it looks rather unique. So that's all the information given from the BTS video but a few observation I wanted to note was what is this Venus flytrap thing? If this is one of the ones used for herb lore or something, I can't really think of what kind of secondary it is. And I'm pretty much assuming that this is the barberry bush with like the thing on the left to the right. And when harvesting it, it seems like you jump and grab the berry on the top, avoiding the spikes from the plant. But I'm kind of confused as it kind of looks like your player avatar seems to eat something right after. So it's like, do you consume what you just harvested or what is it? And the bush seems like there's nothing left behind, like it's gone. like. There's nothing left. Like normally when you harvest a bush, you just have to return it in a few hours and it'll grow back. Whereas it doesn't look like anything's there. And the last thing to note is if you're going for the god grapes, it seems like you'll need five planks to make the trellis. And the trellis is the artificial support system for grapes, which is basically the support system. So I'm pretty much looking forward to this as much of the previous update have seemed insignificant or just uninteresting. So I'm kind of interested in what kind of boost it may offer since it's meant to be a high level update. Maybe it'll surpass some of the previous boosts available for some of the non-combat skills. So what do you guys think? For me, I actually now have motivation to try out the Distraction and Diversion Minesweeper. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Minesweeper. I, I swear it's the same thing. So what's your take on this update? If you watched through the entire video, I would like to thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.